the human body is given to us which is a result of both we get the human body due to our actions and we get the human body by the grace of god as well because there is some criteria we have to perform that kind of actions like human body is given to us for only one purpose that is to realize god or you can say to attain happiness all the living beings are searching happiness but we are searching at the wrong place that's why although we are searching it sincerely since eternity we could not attain happiness the purpose of this life the human life is to achieve happiness so if we are making good efforts right kind of efforts to attain happiness then we are utilizing our human body in the right way because the saints the scriptures and god himself descends on this earth to tell us that how can you attain happiness but we ignore we ignore the suggestions of the saints we ignore the solutions given by the scriptures we ignore the solutions of god itself and he descends to tell us that how can you attain happiness and we do whatever we want to do we are searching happiness in the material world where there is no trace of happiness so if you listen to the saints and the scriptures and you are trying your best to realize god this is the only purpose of your life to realize god or in other words to attain happiness if you are doing your efforts to realize god it means you are doing right and you deserve human body again so up if up to the end of your life you are searching happiness in a right way you are trying to realize god actually then you will definitely be given the human body again but if you are making a wrong use of this body you are misusing this body you are trying to attain happiness the in the material world and as you are complaining god that why don't you give me why i am so miserable why don't you give us happiness what did i do he is happy he is happy why i am not happy we are just blaming god for nothing at all and we are not listening to the saints we are not listening to the scriptures then if you are not making a right use of a given body then why would we be given the human form again we cannot because we are not making the right use of this we will not attain the human form but if you are doing right things in order to realize god you deserve happy that you deserve the human body but it is that we attain the human body by the grace of god as well why if you have performed something good in your previous life even then number one how do you know that what did you do in your previous life god is giving the fruit of our good actions which we performed in our past lives but we had no idea that what good actions have been done this is his grace that you know it or not but he will give you the result of your good actions secondly this is the outcome of his grace because our actions which you perform every day in 24 hours most of the actions performed by us are unrighteous deeds the righteous deed is one only to remember god 
as Lord Krishna said in Gita also, man nimittam kitam papam mad dharmaya chakalpate ma managritya dharmo vi papam syan mad prabhavata. If you are doing anything keeping me in your mind, that it is dharma. It is a righteous deed. But if you forgot about me, then you do whatever you can do. You are sitting in the temple, you are singing a bhajan, but your mind is not attached to God, you are not thinking about God. And you are thinking about many other things, material things, your business, your relatives, your friends, etc. Then adharma. This is called, that is called adharma, unrighteous deed. So we hardly perform any righteous deed in 24 hours. You can say, just for one hour or two hours, we remember God continuously. Or all together in 24 hours, we remember God for two hours, three hours, that's it. Then what are you going doing the rest of the time? If you are not performing good action, then naturally you are performing bad action. Because there are only two actions, good or bad. Either you will perform good action or you will perform bad action. Not performing good action, you are performing bad action for sure. So most of the actions are bad actions. Even then, he is giving us the result of good actions only. If you have performed good action, if you have performed bhakti, sometimes in your life, and you have been doing up to the end of your life, then he will not even think about our bad deeds. And he will give the result of our good deeds only, and he will give he will provide this human life to us. So the base is that, that we have to, we have to perform good deeds to attain this human form. And that good deed is to remember God. Means, how, how would we remember God? By the grace of God. By the grace of the saints. If we listen to them, only then we can learn to remember God. There is also a grace of God. Without the grace of God, Without the help of the saints, without the help of God, we cannot perform any good deed. There is also grace of God when we are performing good deeds. And after that as well, because he is ignoring us, the fruits of our bad deeds, ignoring them, and he is giving the fruit of our good deeds, and he is giving us the human form. He never made this rule that when the amount of your good deeds will increase, only then you will be given the human life. No. He says, just do good deeds. If you have started doing good deeds, if you have started remembering God, you have started going on the right path, I will provide you human form. So, this is the main cause of attaining this human form is our good deeds and the grace of God both. Bully Vrindavan Bihari Lali Ki Jai.